Hi everyone, how's it going team here? And this is um, a small update, I guess, on uh, the BXJS channel and the general things going on with YouTube. So I've been absent from internet, I guess, in general for the past few weeks. And there was a very well needed break for me, I guess. So if you track this channel, if you watch it, uh, you know that I had uh, basically a burnout experience at the end of the last year and I needed the few weeks of a break to basically get back into normal working mode, I guess, right? And I am, I feel like I'm almost there. Uh, but um, I've been, you know, thinking about the YouTube and the videos, the streams I do and uh, how does it actually contribute to my burnout or how how it contributed to my burnout, I guess is the better phrasing. And what I wanna change uh, to make it sort of better for me and maybe also produce the better content for you guys. So I'm just gonna outline my ideas. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean that I will absolutely go that way. I'm still pondering about that. And this is why I want to have your input. So if you have any feedback, any ideas, any thoughts about that, feel free to drop them into the comments. I, you know, I'm. Uh, appreciate any input you guys can provide. So here's the thing. Uh, thing number one, I am, while there are some long running projects that I genuinely enjoy, like Exoframe, for example, right, I've been building and maintaining it for multiple years now, and it's still uh, fun. And I still jump in at some point, And you know, still add new features, rewrite something or whatever. There are other projects that are not as fun. Um, for example, the task manager that we're building right now, I still want to finish it. There's quite a few features left and I probably will do a few more live streams, but I just don't, you know, I don't feel excited doing it. So I want to probably completely switch off doing the long running projects and just focus on even I would say spontaneous streams. Uh, so just pick the topics that I really, really want to talk about, really want to stream and jump in like this without any schedule. That's another point. Um, because when I have a schedule, when I have a long running project, I feel this, you know, obligation to do this obligation to finish it. And that puts quite some pressure on me, which I just don't like, or, you know, this, I understood that I don't like that. And the other side of that is, of course, the YouTube with its algorithms. So I, I stumbled upon this uh, video that is titled My Video Went Viral, Here's Why, from the uh, Veritasium, which is a fantastic channel. And he does an incredible job explaining how does YouTube algorithms work and why it might feel like YouTube literally pressures you to chunk out the videos every week, every day, whatever, to keep those numbers rising, right? And I recognized a lot of what he went through. Um, obviously, you know, his 8 million subscribers is quite far away from my 8000. But still, there's a lot of similarities. And I don't want to fall in that trap either. So what I'm planning to do is instead of long running series, and instead of having a schedule, I would actually just jump into whatever the topic that I find interesting and just do a stream on it, right. So to give an example over this break that I had right now, there is uh, the React server components, uh, the new upcoming feature for React that was announced. It is currently in the um, alpha version, I guess, or, you know, technical preview, call it whatever you want, but you can jump in and try it. And the moment I saw it, I knew I want to go ahead, stream it, try it out, show it off to you guys, because there is so many cool things about that. And this is the kind of, you know, stuff that I want to do, basically. Um, let me know in the comments, what do you think, guys? Is that an approach that you would welcome? Or do you still want to have like some sort of resemblance of schedule? Do you still want me to do long running projects? Because again, you know, uh, I'm, I, I know that numbers don't really reflect all of you. But looking at my long running series, you can see that the first video always gets almost the double views of the consequent videos. And the last one is usually like barely noticeable, basically. And there's like a few hundred of you who watch everything, right. And again, huge thanks to you guys, like I wouldn't be here without you. But it's, you know, in comparison to like 8000 subs, that is um, very little, basically, right. But yeah, so this is thing number one. And thing number two is BXGS weekly. So I still collect the links and I still post the links on the GitHub repo. So if you are 
if you watch it, basically you will get weekly emails with all the uh, links in them. So you can actually check out the episode yourself. I need to restructure this properly, but uh, that's a different question. So you will still get all the links. I will still collect them, still post them. Uh, I mean, I still read all this news anyway, so why not? Uh, what I'm thinking is, you know, I already talked about this before, is basically I don't like the format as it currently is, where I just sit and talk briefly about every link and that's like, you know, whatever. It's A lot of those are pretty similar and talking about the same things over and over again just drives me crazy, basically. So what I'm thinking is I would rather, I guess, do the either uh, BXGS weekly episodes whenever there's enough content to talk about something or just do a separate streams talking about specific technologies like you know hey there's this um i don't remember where where was the announcement about the react server side components i think it was somewhere here but basically you know hey there's this yeah there you go there's the react server components so let's do a live stream about that and drop the bxgs weekly completely i know that some of you might not be happy i know that some of you watched it to get the new ideas or to learn about the new libs and demos or whatever, right? But uh, again, this is just idea, so it's not set in stone. So if you have any feedback, that now is the time basically to throw it into the comments. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of the gist of it. So I am, I'm still gonna, so it's not gonna be completely like the live streams are not gonna be completely spontaneous. I'm not gonna be like, hey, uh, let me just jump immediately into live stream without announcing it. Uh, I'll probably still announce them at least a day in advance unless there's something incredibly epic going on and I want to stream it immediately, which, you know, might happen, but even then it probably will take me a couple of hours to set everything up. So, um, yeah, just, you know, watch the YouTube. There should be announcements. Watch the Discord. Watch the... Uh, I, can, I actually should announce probably more on Twitter when I do that, but, yeah, I'm really bad at that. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so this is kind of the gist of what I want to do in 2021 with the channel. So let me, guys, know what do you think. Uh, if you have any feedback, if you have any suggestions, if you want to see any changes... And uh, let's see where this takes us. Oh, yes. And Happy New Year to you all. I have not said that yet, says I haven't actually streamed or made any videos in that year yet. So uh, there we go. Happy New Year. I uh, hope you are going to have a good one, a lot better than the previous one. If you had a crappy one, if you had a great 2020, then, hey, you know, some people did. So that's great for them. <laughs> Anyway, that's it from my side. So thank you very much for watching. Do give me your feedback and I see you during the next live stream. Bye.